Thank you, Susanna. As with many large-scale construction and preservation projects, we recognize that there are genuine obstacles, especially in these very challenging economic times. I'm going to outline some potential hurdles that we've identified, along with some potential solutions to overcoming these roadblocks. Faced with significant and ongoing cuts to vital services, including faculty, programs, and academic research, it will be difficult for LSU to justify the rehabilitation and reuse of this property. With that in mind, we've been sure to develop a strong, diverse network of potential partnerships to help secure funding for the project that include both pub public, private, and nonprofit organizations. We structured our financial package to mirror several recent successful building projects on the LSU campus, such as the renovated and expanded Student Union and the Cox Communications Academic, Academic Center for Student Athletes. The support of corporate partners is absolutely critical to the success of this project. We're confident that we've identified the most logical corporate partners whose missions naturally align with those of LSU and with the proposed use of this facility, but who would also clearly be able to realize a significant benefit from their involvement and support in this revitalization project. These partners would work closely with the LSU Office of Corporate and Foundational Relations. Many large-scale rehabilitation projects require a variety of funding sources to make it successful. And it's imperative that all of these organizations have well-defined roles, that they have clear leadership, and synchronized goals in order for this project to be realized in a reasonable period of time and with the highest level of efficiency. In closing, I think I can speak for all of our group when I say that it's been a pleasure to be here in Baton Rouge and have the opportunity to work together on the Huey P. Long Fieldhouse and Pool. When we started this project on Sunday, there were many, many outstanding questions about the successful strategies for this building. But after touring the building, having the opportunity to interview a variety of Baton Rouge and LSU leaders, students, and others, we learned that everyone that we spoke to genuinely wants to see this project come to fruition and for all the very best reasons. Oftentimes, buildings are saved because people love them. They resonate with us. But rarely as preservationists do we have the opportunity to save a building that has so much social capital in the community and with constituents who are located across the globe. The Huey P. Long Fieldhouse and Pool is, a, is Louisiana State University's most significant endangered property. And additionally, it is probably one of the most beloved buildings on campus. Most simply put, we discovered that people love this building for what it is. And at the end of the day, the best solution to solving this problem is one that is simple, it's realistic, it's viable, and it's cost effective. I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to share this time with you and to be a contributing part of the future of LSU and the Huey P. Long Fieldhouse and Pool. Thank you.